We all know Miranda Lambert is a brilliant singer, ACM Entertainer of the Year, her seven number one Billboard Country Airplay hits. But she has captured hearts not only with her vocal prowess, but her storytelling and songwriting as well. Beyond her own chart busters, she has lent her golden touch to other artists on their path to success. You will be surprised at the hits she's had a hand in, writing for other artists. Starting off with Luke Combs, who released his album, Growing Up in 2022, and received a Grammy nomination for it. One of the tracks had Lambert's lyrical genius. Any guesses? It was Outrunning Your Memory, which was initially not intended as a duet, and Lambert's vocals were added later. It reached the top 30 on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. Next up, her most recent collaboration with Chris Stapleton. Lambert co-wrote the song, What Am I Gonna Do, for Stapleton's latest album, Higher. The duo actually wrote the song two years before, and Stapleton lost his copy. Worried, he called up Lambert, who was kind enough to dig it out for him. Up next is the man of the hour, busy picking up one new artist award after another. Lambert paired with Jelly Roll to write The Lost for his album, Witsit Chapel. It was a last minute call from the producer, Jesse Frazier, that led to the collaboration. Lambert also provided background vocals on the song. Next up is the man who can do everything right, fill seats, sell albums, and still not end up with any award. Lambert, alongside Nicole Galleon, contributed to this heartfelt tribute to Morgan Wallen's mother, Leslie, titled, Thought You Should Know. Next, we have a former band member of Miranda Lambert. Back in 2011, she formed a band called Pistol Annie's with Ashley Monroe and Angelina Presley. The band went separate ways, but Lambert reconnected with Monroe for the track, I'm Good at Leaving" from her 2015 album, The Blade. Moving on to an attempted supergroup called The High Women, inspired by The Highwaymen. The group featured Marin Morris, who has been in the news lately for quitting the country music scene and then maybe going back on it. The band debuted at number one on Billboard's Top Country Albums chart and included a heartfelt track co-written by Lambert, My Only Child, inspired by Natalie Hemby's personal story about a parent's unique love for their only child. Next, we have a song inspired by the phrase T.J. Osborne often said when asked if he and his boyfriend were still together. Lambert co-wrote and sang backing vocals on We Ain't Good at Breaking Up, included on Brothers Osborne's Grammy-nominated self-titled album. Lambert also lent her golden touch to 2022 ACM New Artist of the Year, Parker McCollum. She co-wrote the song Falling Apart from his 2021 debut album, Gold Chain Cowboy. Here's a song with a journey, Don't Blame It on Whiskey. Originally meant for Eric Church's 2011 album, Chief, it found a home in John Party's 2019 album, Heartache Medication. The song delves into the raw truth of a relationship on the brink, a theme Lambert captures expertly. The last one is an obvious one. She collaborated with ex-husband Blake Shelton multiple times for songs like Over You and Bearskin Rug. One of her works is titled Suffocating, which she wrote with Lady A member Hilary Scott while on tour with Kenny Chesney. You can find links to all the songs in the video description. What are your thoughts on Miranda Lambert, the singer and the songwriter? Let us know in the comments section. Please do like the video and subscribe to Country Beat Daily.